Hey there, so we're gonna mount a P3 LED panel to this acrylic mount. So let's just first make sure we have everything. We've got the P3 panel. We've got our acrylic mount here. This was cut on a laser cutter. Pixel board. And we got some hardware over here. So the first thing you wanna do is take your acrylic mount. And this may be a little tricky to see on the camera, but if you look, you'll see some text here that says mount pixel board here. So the pixel board will go like this, not on the other side. So just make sure you got it on the right side. And then if you also look here, again, sorry, it's a little hard to see, but you'll see pixel USB. So USB means this USB connector right here. So that's just, uh, just tells you how the orientation of the board goes. So you don't want it to go like this, for example, because you want the USB to go right here. Okay. All right. So let's get started. Let's put the board down for a second. And we're going to take our nylon screws. And from the bottom, I'm just going to pop this in. Now, by the time you do this, instead of this being, this is a spacer. This actually might be a spacer instead of a, a hex nut, but for now, we're just gonna use this hex nut. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on there. Okay, so let's repeat for all four holes. Okay, so we're looking good so far. Now what we're gonna do is take our LED panel like so. So we're gonna go ahead and take it, we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna make sure the arrow is pointing up. And then we'll take our board here. And also you'll notice there's an arrow as well over here. So make sure that's pointing up. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this and line up the holes like so. And one problem you're going to notice if I flip this over is these screws are not flush over here. So we're going to need to do a little manual adjustment to get that to be flush. Okay. And that's just because of real estate. We just don't have enough room over here. So if I put this back, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just some flush mount pliers like this. And this little piece right here, I'm just gonna cut that out. So I just take your pliers like so, make a couple snaps and wiggle a little bit, take that out. That should be okay. So that was one side. And then let's just put it back here so you can see that's now mounted flush, but I still have a problem over here. So right there, I need to do some cutouts on this guy right here. So this little circle right there. So let's just do the same thing. Okay, that should have, that should do it. So now you can see I've just made that, cut out that little piece. Now let's take our mount again, see how we're doing. Okay, got everything set up here. So now what we'll do is we'll just take the board. And again, we wanna make sure we got the USB lined up with this arrow. And I'm just gonna pop the board on here like so. And then we'll take our four remaining hex nuts and just screw these down. This you can do by hand. It doesn't have to be super tight. Okay. Again, that last one's a little tricky, but we're good. And again, it doesn't have to be super super tight. 
So let's just let's put that down for a second. Looks good. Board looks pretty well mounted, so we're okay. And then go ahead and pop this back on here. And then we're just gonna use these metal screws to mount it in. Okay, if you notice, there's actually one more hole over here, but we're gonna skip that because our toggle switch is kind of in the way. And by the way, you wanna make sure that this is always facing towards USB. So by default, it's actually on Bluetooth. BT is Bluetooth, so just make sure that's pointing to USB. So let's go ahead and put this guy down. And let's go back to our kit here. So here's what also came with the pixel board kit. So we're gonna take out the ribbon cable and this is our power connector. And this is power from the board to the panel. So let's go ahead and actually let's plug in the actually yeah, the power to the board first. So pretty straightforward. It's notched, so it only goes in one way, so you can't mess up. That's that guy. And then this goes directly to the board. Okay. And then we're gonna take our ribbon cable, this guy here. And this also has a notch. So don't worry, you cannot mess up because it only goes in one way. So if you see the notches right there. So let's plug that in here. And let's go here. Okay. So that is that. And just to see how we're doing so far. Let's go back in here. This is a USB A to A cable. This is what's going to plug from this USB connector into your PC or Raspberry Pi. And then we also have the uh, micro SD card. So let's take this out. Here's the micro SD card. And we're just going to simply pop it in right here. You hear a click. So click out, actually click out, click in. Now this you don't actually need, but if you ever need to reflash the board, it's done via copying some files to the SD card. So right now the default is you have the right image, so you don't need to worry about this, but in the future, if you ever need it, you'll, um, you'll use this guy and unplug this out of here, put this, put this into your computer. So let's just put that aside for the moment. All right, so now lastly, we'll just take our switch here and just pop this right in. A little bit tight, so you gotta wiggle it in there. So this is our on off switch. Okay, now back to the kit. Kit comes with a power brick, the five volt, five amp power supply. Let's go ahead and put that in. So let's take our power connector here, pop that in. Okay, and we got a green light, so we're, we're good. And then we're just gonna take our DC jack and plug it in to the board. Okay, so we got power, so we know we're okay. Again, on off switch. So if I turn it over, this is now gonna be displaying a demo image, which is actually in the wrong resolution. That's why you see this left side kind of messed up. So don't worry about that. What we're gonna do right now is write a test image from our Pixelcade software. So let's put this down. Let's take our USB A to A cable and we're gonna plug this now into our PC or your Raspberry Pi. For the purposes of this demo, we're gonna use a PC, but again, this could be a Raspberry Pi. Okay. So we'll just take this guy, pop it in here. And other end goes into our PC.
So you may notice this is a Mac actually, but we're running uh, VMware Windows. So this is actually Windows 7. Um, Windows 10 is also supported. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go to Device Manager. Try that again. Okay, and then Device Manager, I wanna go under Ports, and I wanna see that the Pixel LED board is there and I can see it's on COM9. Now, if you don't see this, then you'll first need to install the driver. You'll find the driver I'll install on our website. But since we, we have COM9 here, we're okay. I'm gonna close out of here and go to Program. I wanna to go to Pixelcade LED Marquee. I'm gonna to go to Pixelcade Settings. And then I wanna make sure that my port matches. I'm gonna just go here and pick COM9, okay? So again, COM9 is the COM port of your PC. It'll be different depending on your PC and how many other things you have plugged in. So yours may be on COM5, here we're on COM9. And then also make sure you have 128 by 32. Actually, sorry, for this one, since we only have one LED panel, we're gonna do 64 by 32, which is one panel. If we had two of these daisy chained, we would do 128 by 32. So let's save that. And then we're gonna go back here again. We're gonna launch this program called a listener. So this is the Pixelcade listener. And the listener always needs to be running in the background. So you can take this, put this in your Windows startup program and just have it running. It'll run minimized automatically. You'll see here it says pixel status connected. So we know we're talking. And then let's just do a test. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say LED Marque communication test. And then this should write 1941, All right? So now we know we're talking, everything is good. So that's it, we're all set up. I hope that helps. Thanks for uh, checking this out.